It's time to welcome the Wine Ladies with Georgia and Suzanne. An entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. Hi everybody, it's us, The Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome everyone today to The Wine Ladies Show, One Sip at a Time, here on ThatChannel.com. And of course, to all our friends and fans on Facebook and TheWineLadies.com and Twitter, thank you for following and sending in all your questions and comments. Now, today we're going to be uh, talking about a very beautiful region in particular. Although considered New World, this country has been producing wines since the 16th century, when the Spanish conquistadors brought over the Vitis vinifera vines. And this is a stunning country. It is a very important wine-growing region in the world of wine. It is the fifth largest exporter and now the eighth largest producer. And there are lots of exciting things going on. <laughs> On down there in that long skinny country 2700 miles long and only 109 miles wide <laughs> okay now George as always we like to start off our show with a lovely toast so let's do that and uh, we're gonna be revealing the secret wine in just a moment but cheers everybody and welcome to the show here today cheers to Chile Ah, oh, okay, that's right. So joining us on the show today, we've got the latest news on Chile and all about this wonderful winery. We are so excited to have in studio. She has been on our show before, although yes. we were trying to figure out how many years ago, but it's been quite a while. <laughs> but we've got the dynamic, very beautiful and astute businesswoman. We've got Indeed. Alexandra La Postal here today, and she is the founder of the award-winning winery Casa La Postal. So one of the she is producing one of the finest wines here in Chile so welcome Alexandra to the show hello great to see you again now, I know you have a very tight schedule I'm glad that we were able to jig our schedule so that we could have you here today well I'm very happy to be with you you are wine connoisseurs and it's going to be fun to exchange with you uh, all about Chile and uh, our La Postal wines. Yeah, absolutely. Now Chile has definitely been in the news recently and uh, you know congratulations to the country of Chile to pulling off that incredible feat saving all those men mm -hmm. um, in the in the mines. The whole world was yeah. fixated on the country of Chile. It's definitely uh, been on everybody's uh, conscience. No, yes, and uh, I think it shows uh, what I I uh, have every day with my team. Mm -hmm. It shows the st the strength of the Chilean people, yes. and also they are very uh, audacious people. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't give up. It exactly, yeah. and so uh, I think it was a great example of uh, how Chilean people uh, behave, and this is why I, I like so much to go to Chile because it's really um, refreshing uh, to, mm -hmm. to work with them. Yes, and also, speaking of having the strength and courage, we had, of course, the, um, the, the earthquake that happened in February that was a mm. major, was an 8.8 yeah. on the Richter scale. Yeah. Maybe we can tell everybody just quickly, how are the wineries faring now after the earthquake? Well, uh, it's, been, it's been tough because mm -hmm. it's ha it just happened before the, the harvest. Yes. So we had to deal with this, plus we had to prepare the harvest uh, with all those uh, problems. Mm -hmm. But um, the Chileans, once again, uh, they showed really their um, commitment yes. and uh, their courage. And uh, I can tell you that, for example, at La Postole, uh, we, we were able to really uh, uh, bottle the wine uh, after two weeks. Everything was set up, wow. uh, and uh, my team worked like uh, crazy yeah. to be to make uh, it happen. Yes, to make it happen. Now I know here in Ontario, our 2010 vintage is going to be the best of the 2000s. What's happening in Chile and in general with the vintage of 2010? Well, it's it, it's a it's a great vintage because uh, we we everything was ready just. Yeah very uh, before with, the earth shook yeah, yes, <laughs> lots of pressure but everything was ready and uh, it, it's going to be a great vintage uh, quite a cool one mm -hmm. which is good because yes. it's funny because uh, we are talking about uh, the warm climate uh, worldwide and what's going on yes. but I can tell you that in Chile I don't know why it's the opposite uh, we have uh, 
cooler uh, cooler climate than uh, so usually, mm -hmm. which is good, which is good because we have then like this uh, very elegant uh, wines. Yes, yeah, so I guess the the grapes are able to stay on the vine a little bit longer, not get over, not so ripe, and have a lot more finesse and elegance. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and so like this, this is why as French uh, people we like that. Yes. Uh, climate which is being not and it looks like more and more like uh, what we know mm -hmm. and so we have the sunny days without rain yes but we have cool nights and uh, and and so it's a very good balance paradise for the grapes <laughs> paradise for the grapes paradise for the people do you spend a lot of time you need in to Chile? come you need to come yes you i do. go I, I enjoy it a lot so i live in geneva mm -hmm. in switzerland yes but i True. go and uh, now in london as well but uh, i go to chile five times a year and now you I, might detect uh, viewers and listeners out there that this lovely lady has a lovely accent it happens <laughs> to be a french accent yeah. now tell us our viewers a little bit about your family history because this is quite a s celebrity we have here <laughs> oh uh, uh, absolutely yeah i don't know but my uh, <laughs> my family produces uh, grand marnier mm -hmm. so it's uh, the french uh, liqueur it's mm -hmm. my great grandfather who created grand marnier in uh, 1880 Yes. And we also, uh, we are from the Loire Valley in Sancerre, mm -hmm. and so we own the Chateau de Sancerre. And so this is how I came to um, be more involved in the one side of our company. And so I said, I, I, w I would like to have, why don't we buy another vineyard? Mm -hmm. And this is how everything started uh, in Chile. And how, why, why Chile, of all the places around the world that you could have gone to? I know your father came to you and said, let's diversify. Alexandra, mm. it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> why Chile? Ah, yes, why going so far yeah. when you have so great vineyards in France and why go? Uh, very, it's logical, there is an explanation. Mm -hmm. It's because uh, Chilean people went to Bordeaux in the 1860s and brought back vines from France. Yes to plant them in their country in Chile. And so it's a little bit like we have a small part of France ah. over there. Right. And uh, as you may know, in uh, Europe, uh, in the 1870s, there was an insect who, the phylloxera, yes. who devastated all the vineyards, mm -hmm. but never came to Chile, uh -huh. and so we still have the original vines which existed before this uh, crisis of phylloxera in mm -hmm. Europe, mm -hmm. and so it's really very interesting for us as French people yeah. to go there and to see how those vines have evolved in the, the beautiful climate. Yes. Now we're going to need to go to a break shortly, okay. but before we do, um, we just want to mention, uh, George and I are very excited, we're going to be okay. having a fabulous holiday special, the Wine Ladies Holiday Special in support of the United Way, which is going to be taking place November the 11th, mm -hmm. and it's going to be an incredible evening with all your wine, your food, your beer, your food, your food and your <laughs> and, and entertainment. entertainment included, and right. uh, maybe we should just tell a little bit more about the, the event before we go to a, a break. Absolutely. The very famous photojournalist Peter Bragg is going to be there snapping pictures as you walk the red carpet after you've disembarked out of a white stretch limousine. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a live auction with uh, probably about $10,000 worth of prizes and one huge sleigh that's going to be filled with wine and vodka and coffee and everything you can possibly imagine for the holidays. So that just gives you a little bit of a taste of the event. And of course, thanks to our sponsors, Liaison College, which is going to be providing all the food and Chisholm Schools of Oakville, as well as Mary Cardemoni. So we're going to go to a, ni a nice break and we'll be right back in just a moment with Alexandra. Looking for a new career? Reds, greens, yellows. Learn from true chefs. I don't only consider myself a chef, I consider myself an artist. Fast track your training. Get your diploma at Liaison College. It's about finding that perfect combination of ingredients. Do half days. It's the aroma, the taste. Get government assistance. Get job placement. It's great to belong to a place that actually cares. Check this out. That's why we're the number one culinary college in Ontario. Liaison College. Call now toll free for a campus near you.
Hey, Georgia. Hey, Suzanne. Welcome to Girls' Night Out. Did you remember the wine? Of course. After all, we're, we're the wine ladies. <laughs> we're in the kitchen. So what wine did you bring? Well, for our Girls' Night Out, we brought Girls' Night Out. I brought the Chardonnay. I brought the Merlot. Well, my guy bought me this. Too funny. The Rosé. Well, let the party begin. Girls' Night Out Wines. Hugely popular VQA wines best enjoyed with friends. Available at the LCBO and other fine retail locations. For more information, go to girlsnightoutwines.com. In Beauty Med Spa is constantly researching the latest innovations from around the world and bringing them home to you. It's a wonderful meeting of Eastern philosophies of skin and body care with exciting and innovative Western technology. All the In Beauty Med Spa health and wellness programs are medically supervised. A physician and dietitian are also available for client consultations. In Beauty Med Spa, inspire the nature of beauty. Visit InBeautySpa.com. Hey, Suzanne, it's the only machine that I need. I know, it's a great workout in just a fraction of the time. It made me get excited about workouts again. T-Zone Vibration is making people sit up and take notice. Employing the newest technology and fitness equipment, T-Zone Vibration gives you an hour workout in just 10 minutes. Try it. Believe it. You'll want to bring one home. T-Zone Vibration. Call 905-483-8676. T-Zone Vibration. 905-483-8676.